Hey folks, how's there? Welcome back to another Pokemon Master video. And today I want to go over uh, Lucario Sync Grid, right? Um, so, uh, Lucario Sync Grid is... Here's the thing about Lucario Sync Grid. It's definitely not the greatest uh, Striker Sync Grid. And, and, and I actually talked about this uh, earlier on, on Twitter, and, and folks didn't really understand what I meant by it. Um, and, and here's why I don't think it's that great in comparison to a lot of the other Striker Sync Grids. Like, it's good for Lucario, but... In general, it's not that great of a synchro because uh, it you don't have any damage. Um, I think this is, might be literally the only striker in the whole game uh, that has an expanded synchro that doesn't have any any damage buffs, right? Um, because uh, the main stuff you got in here, you got uh, close combat task quo, which is nice. Uh, boiling point, um, power punch, move gate refresh, move gate refresh on vacuum wave, all that stuff. MP refresh on both these. Um, mad strength on power up punch, fear sentry, power reserve, um, uh, move gate refresh on close combat, stamina reserve, uh, and and skate on through a berserker. I mean, I guess you have power reserve, but nope, that's extremely unreliable, and you don't really, you know, when we're counting on 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 damage buffing passive, you don't really count power reserve. Um, but yeah, like every other unit in the game has some kind of, uh, like just damage uh a buff right you got you know hay uh haymaker with um uh charizard uh, uh solar flare right um on the sync move um all the charizard's not that great either <laughs> unfortunately uh on the grid dugong got you know stuff like free synergy all that stuff uh right invigorating hail two of them um oops let's not do that uh, stuff like Gallade, Crit Strike, Crit Strike, uh, Ramming Speed, uh, Garchomp obviously got Surging Sand, Ramming Speed, all that stuff. Um, what else? Glissopod. Uh, Glissopod, you got stuff like Crystastrophe, right? Um, what, uh, Hacks, like basically everyone, you know, has some kind of like damage buff on, on their passive, some kind of significant damage buff. And unfortunately, Lucario got shafted there and just didn't get anything, right? Um, it, again, in, in terms of, like, a grid for himself, it's fine. It's a it's a fine grid. Uh, but if you compare it to, like, any other, uh, all the other strikers, uh, you just don't get much damage from it, right, unfortunately. Uh, but the good thing about Lucario is uh, Lucario at base is, is, is a pretty, you know, decent striker. And, like, you know, say, um, I guess a good example would be... Uh, let's say, uh, Raichu. Where's Raichu? Where's Raichu? Where's Raichu? Where's Raichu? I can't find Raichu. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, the Raichu at base isn't the greatest. I mean, it's not terrible, but, uh, yeah, it's the, the, uh, the, the grid, the grid gives it, um, some, some decent, uh, uh, damage buffs, right? If you get inertia, right? With all the, uh, speed buffs, it actually uh, increases its, its damage by, by a decent amount, right? Um, but, uh, you know, Lucario, without the grid, it's fine, right? The grid, uh, gives it some, you know, decent stuff. It makes it a really good unit. Um, but the grid itself doesn't really, um, stand out too much, right? In terms of, uh, for a striker, which is kind of sad. But anyways, um, let's talk about, uh, some builds, right? So, no point talking about one out of five, because everyone will at least have two copies of this thing, right? Um, so let's do 2 out of 5 and also 3 out of 5 now since we have the Striker Candy for those of you who did use um, the Striker Candy on Lucar, which is a fine unit to use it on, right? Um, we'll, we'll talk about those two, right? So, um, honestly, 2 out of 5, you really don't get anything. Um, you don't get, uh, uh, you don't get Close Combat Tats Quo, you don't get Fierce Entry, you don't get Skate On Through Berserker, um, you don't even, I don't, I don't think you get the, do you get, oh, you get, do get Vacuum Wave Mugator Gen. But yeah, 2 out of 5, you don't have much, right? It's just pretty standard, um, you know, just go in here. It's so annoying that it, that it, because of Vacuum Wave, it, it turns into a mixed striker grid, right? With the, uh, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's a bit it annoying me a bit. Um, yeah, basically just pick up your close combat stuff, right? Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're going for Villa, right, which you probably are, Pick up the MP refreshes. You don't have to pick up both at the same time, unless like you're planning for some reason to use both at the same time. 
you know, in, in the same battle, right? Usually folks use one or the other, right? Unless I guess they're going to a, uh, a, a boss battle, which by then you probably don't need MP refreshes either. Um, which, you know, again, it depends on, on, on what you're going with, right? Um, and then I guess you could go up here and, and, and pick a vacuum wave Mugay ref refresh as well. Um, the interesting thing about uh, Vacuum Wave Move Gauge Refresh is that it's a Move Gauge Refresh 9, so you always get a, a gauge back every time you use Vacuum Wave uh, Move Gauge Refresh 9, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, so it basically turns Vacuum Wave into like a free turn. Um, so if early on you, know, you just want to get to your Mega quick, uh, you could just spam Vacuum Wave without, uh, without screwing up uh, your... Um, you know, your, your whole team's gauge uh, situation and, and all that stuff, right? Uh, or if you want, you could just pick up these attack nodes and then go for uh, power up, punch, mad string, um, which is also nice. You can pick up some more, you know, stat nodes afterwards. Um, all that stuff, right? To speed nodes. I personally prefer speed uh, stat buffs in most grids. Um, this gives a 3% chance of uh, raising your attack by an extra point when you use power up, punch, right? Um, you won't be power punching that much. It's just, you know, when the sides are low, you go in, and take them out with power up punch, get some extra, uh, attack buff. So you're probably going to use power up punch like twice, uh, which would, you know, give you a decent chance of at least increasing your, um, attack by an extra one, which is pretty nice. Right. Um, so yeah, there's that as for a budget build for this one, since, we do have to consider these now with the uh, limited amount of sync orbs, right? Um, really, the most important one here is just close combat move gauge refresh. Everything else is kind of whatever, right? If you want, oops, you know, if you if you want, you could then go over. Obviously, you have to pick up one of these, right? I uh, go over, pick up uh, the move gauge refreshes for. Uh, or not move gate MP refreshes for these two, which again, not the biggest deal in the world. Um, but if you just want to like save most of your uh, orbs, then just go for the close combat move gate refresh, or just pick up like the uh, the extra close combat power ups as well. So you could do that again if you're on if you want to save orbs for like Skyla or whatever, which you probably should honestly. Um, yeah, Skyla should be everyone's um, number one uh, orb saving priority right now. Her <laughs> grid is. Uh, Pretty fantastic. Anyways, um, even even at two out of five, right? Even at two out of five, even though you know, w uh, without three out of five, you don't get the, like the full potion buff and all that stuff, right? But anyways, uh, moving on to three out of five Lucario. Three out of five Lucario. Um, let's just go for like a full grid build uh, first, right? Three out of five Lucario, you, you do get close combat stats quo, which you should probably pick up in in most case scenarios. There's a scenario where you don't want to pick up. Close combat stats quo, uh, which is when you roll for enlightenment nine as your lucky skill, which is a completely valid uh, lucky skill for Lucario. Personally, I would prefer either crit strike two or power flux three on on Lucario, right? Um, since I don't really value Lucario's grid that much, like there really isn't that much stuff to pick up, right? So I um, this is actually pretty affordable because like like uh let's just go through like a, a standard build for lucario first right uh, assuming you're not going alignment i'm assuming you're going for a critical strike two or power flux three right um so uh the stuff you want to pick up obviously the close combat power-ups all that stuff and then go for a close combat stats quo and then fierce entry as well right and then that that you know you you get a pretty decent build here uh unfortunately you don't get any uh mp refreshes uh but i also don't think that's like the biggest thing in the world because Lucar's MP refreshes are kind of bad. They're like probably the worst MP refreshes as well in all like the synchrons. Usually, usually your, your MP refreshes are like MP refresh three or whatever, right? Um, which again, you know, the difference isn't that big. It's like what, um, ten percent, right? Like all these guys, uh, MP refreshes at like three. Some people have MP refresh at four, right? Um, that's MGR. Uh, yeah, MP refresh three. Oh, MP Refresh 3, and then, like, Lucario has MP Refresh 2 on them. So, again, I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. Uh, but, yeah, if you don't go for uh, Enlightenment 9, you definitely do want Close Combat Stats Quo, so your defenses don't get completely screwed over 
uh, after you use uh, close combat stats. Oh, by the way, close combat stats go for those you don't know. Um, it activates like this. So uh, it has, uh, what, 40% chance uh, every time you use close combat to remove all the negative um, uh, defensive uh, decreases that you've gotten from close combat back to normal. So it's not just a plus one. So if you're at like minus six defenses, it doesn't bring you back to minus five defenses. It brings you back to zero defenses, which is really, really good, right? So, yeah, you, you could uh, pick up all, uh, all this stuff. The other thing that you are sort of missing, um, if you go with this, is get on through Berserker, right? Uh, so you could kind of, you know, decide between Berserker and, and I guess, Fierce Entry, right? Um, which which one you're going for, uh, you want to go for. Or if you want to, you know, just drop those two extra powers for or close combat because you know uh you, you just gain more um from that right if you're actually going to use skate on through right um on on uh on a certain stage right but uh yeah this this does give you this this is the build that gives you more damage obviously right um because with critical strike 2 you get an extra 20 percent uh damage every time you crit right which obviously you only want to use crit strike two if you're willing to expend um you know uh dire hits right it doesn't have to be from the car it could be from sports as well and or power flux which uh, again also gives you a damage increases which in which you don't need to increase your crit or anything uh like that right so uh but if you do get enlightenment nine which again is a fine skill right you don't need just close combat stats quo because um it already decreases your um uh, defense deductions or, or your decreases your def defense decreases by 90 percent right so you don't have to worry about sas quo um you will be lowering your defenses but it's not gonna be that big of a deal right so if, if you get enlightenment nine then you do have some more to spend on like some other stuff on, on the grid uh which again in my opinion isn't like the biggest deal in the world uh but still you know nice to have right uh you could pick up berserker here and when the MP refreshes on, 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 on one of these, which again, you know, probably you, you don't need one um, at a time anyways. So that's also a, a uh, an option. Or if you want to pick up, I guess, Matt's strength instead of the MP refreshes, uh, that's also fine as well. Although I prefer the MP refreshes uh, in this case. But then again, it's all RNG, right? So um, yeah, there's that as well. As for a budget build for, for Lucario, um, Again, uh, it depends on what your lucky skill is. If your lucky skill is Enlightenment 9, then honestly, all you need is just the close combat move gauge uh, refresh, and probably you want Fierce Entry as well. Um, as for anything else, uh, maybe if you want Power Punch, Mad Strength, although again, I don't think that's like the base in the world, or the MP refreshes here, um, or the close combat power-ups again it just depends on on how many sync orbs uh, you want to invest into uh lucario right um as for a version uh with crit strike 2 or uh power flux 3 right um then you probably want to also go up there and, and pick up uh close combat stats quo and then also go down and, and pick up uh fear sentry again as well right so uh those are i guess some kind of budget builds if you want to make Lucario into some kind of weird <laughs> support as well. That's just there to give you guys, give the team speed and and vacuum wave <laughs> uh, move gauge refreshes. You could just like go up and then grab vacuum wave move gauge refresh and just like find all these speed nodes that you could find. Um, <laughs> and yeah, just to make him like not a striker, but like some kind of like weird speed buffing support slash uh sync move countdown thing right so every time you use my vacuum wave it doesn't uh you know it doesn't mess up your team's gauge situation right it doesn't take anything from the gauge situation and then you still get the sync move countdown for your whole team right which is viable <laughs> viable i guess right uh maybe some defense as well so you don't die <laughs> but uh yeah in general uh that's all my thoughts i have for the uh, lucario sync grid right um again just suggestions you don't have to do any of these right um so anyways uh that's me with this one hope you guys enjoyed let me know you guys uh think in the comments down below uh like if you enjoyed this video or your channel for some more promo content i'll see you guys in the next one